Hey, it's the Nerdy Sports Fan! We're talking the NFL Draft Grades, and we're into the AFC South. Now, let's get into the Titans. Um, off the bat, I gave this draft overall a B. Um, I think that they're developing a culture very, very well with their head coach, Vrabel. Um, he's got the New England way coming with him, and uh, he seems like he's going to be very good for a long time down there in Tennessee. Um, I don't think you've got the right quarterback. Mariota is a high-character guy. Great. He's got an injury that people wonder if he even can come back from. And um, Ryan Tannehill isn't exactly the best person to say, yeah, hey, we got the quarterback position taken care of. Um so I think they're moving towards a 2020 draft quarterback. I really do. Um, because not a lot of teams were high on QB in this draft. So the fact they didn't address that isn't really a big knock on them. Um, they went with Jeffrey Simmons at pick number 19, defensive tackle out of Mississippi. Um, Mississippi State produced a lot of defensive talent in this draft. Simmons, he's got character issues and injury issues. All right, He was hurt and... Um, there's a film of him beating the crap out of a woman in a parking lot somewhere. Um, there's questions on whether or not him striking this woman was actually warranted, considering the situation he was in. So, without knowing the full situation, I'm still not going to give him a pass. Okay? Um, you are a six foot five, three hundred some odd pound man. Um, there's a lot of options for stopping a woman that's half your size, so you don't have to manhandle her like that. I'll say that right now. Um, he's hurt. He's got character issues. He shouldn't be in the first round. He was going to be because he's extremely, extremely, extremely talented. Okay? If you took out his injury and his character issues, um, he would be one of the sec... You know, two or three top defensive tackles in this draft, okay? He's right up in that conversation with Quinn and Williams and Ed Oliver. He's very, very talented. If he stays out of trouble and he stays healthy, he's going to be a very good player for this defensive front for a very long time, and a coach like Vrabel is exactly what he needs to keep his career on the right track. A.J. Brown out of Ole Miss is a fantastic pickup at round two, pick number 19. Um, I had him as my number one to two wide receiver. I thought he should have gone at the later end of the first round. The fact that he was available at 19 makes him a huge value add. He's a huge positional need add because you can't keep wide receivers happy in Tennessee uh, since the quarterback's terrible. And um, no receiver was going to go there in free agency because of the QB situation, so you need to address this position in the draft. They did it very well here. A.J. Brown is going to step right in as a legitimate pro-ready receiver. That said, receiver is a weird transition position, so he's going to be 50-plus catches, not 70-plus catches. He's going to be tickling 1,000 yards, but he'll be in like the high 900s. He'll catch a few touchdowns. He will be your number one receiver very quickly um, and a long-term, high-character guy for this team. Nate Davis at guard. Solid pickup for where they drafted him. And uh, Amani Hooker, solid pickup for where they drafted him at safety. Uh, all four of these guys will end up being long-term starters. All four of them. Um, the only reason this draft is not an A is the really big question marks surrounding Simmons. If you do not have those question marks surrounding Simmons, I get it. He's not even there if, they're, if you don't have those question marks. But because he's such a risk, you can't give this draft an A. You don't know if he's going to be out of the league due to suspension or injury after his first season. 
So there's a risk, but there's a high reward if that risk pays off. So I think Tennessee is moving in the right direction. Now they just need a quarterback for this team.